because your desires are effectively you making a contract with yourself to be unhappy until that desire is fulfilled. What's up, guys? I hope you're well. I want to talk to you about a quote that I heard the other day, and it was one of those ones that really like just blows your mind, and it really shifted my perspective about the way I view the world. And forgive me for not remembering where the quote came from or even where I heard it so that I could give you some background to go look into it, but I'm going to give you the quote and I'm going to give you my thoughts of what I thought when I heard it. The quote was, to be very careful of your desires because your desires are effectively you making a contract with yourself to be unhappy until that desire is fulfilled, to be unsatisfied until you have that which you desire. And it was very shifting for me because we speak a lot on this channel about setting goals and achieving everything that you want to achieve in life, whether that's professional or in your relationships or in your own uh, personal health. And what this made me think about was we need to learn to be happy in the moment with what we have while still having the ability to push forward and try to achieve and go after the things that we want in life. Because I'll give you a straight up example of this. If you are unhappy with the way you look in the mirror, you've got a beer belly, you've got some extra weight, got some love handles, and you look in the mirror and you tell yourself, I've decided or I have the desire to have a six pack. And I'm now going to, to put myself to work to get that six pack. What you've effectively told yourself is you are going to be unhappy with what you see in that mirror until you see a six pack. And it's not that working towards a six pack is not a worthy goal. It's not that it's not something that you should strive for. But if we do this in all areas of our life, if we set up these these lofty desires that we're going to work towards all at the same time, it can end up being that you're unhappy in your work until you earn a certain amount of money. You're unhappy with the way you look until you look a certain way. You're unhappy with your hobby until you can achieve a certain level of success at that hobby. You won't be happy with your family until you can spend X amount of time with them or until you've gone on X amount of holidays and done uh, Y amount of activities. So you then spend your entire life in a perpetual state of being unsatisfied with where you are in that moment. And you get lost in seeking and desiring that which you want to work towards in the future. And you hear a lot of this, you hear the term the rat race, where everyone is running towards this big imaginary goal of making all this money and having all this success. And in the meantime, they are going through their lives being miserable. You hear about people all the time who are, they are working all day, every day to save for retirement so that they can then enjoy their life in their later years rather than enjoying and being present in the moment and enjoying the time that they have now. So again, what I'm not telling you here is not to have desires. We should all go towards something. What is life if we're not working towards things and not challenging ourselves? But be careful to have a handful of desires. Have a few things at any one time, and these can shift as time goes on, that you want to work towards. And ensure that they do have a finish line and a timetable attached to them, so that it's not the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow that you never reach. It's not the carrot on the end of the stick that you chase and chase and chase until you get too tired and you never actually reach it. It's important that our goals and our desires have a destination and it is important that we reach them because then you can, you can set another, you can do another. Instead of saying when you look in that mirror and you're unhappy with your whole body, set yourself a smaller desire. I want to lose five pounds and I want to lose five pounds in four weeks and aim towards that. So at the end, you can have at least a brief moment 
in your pursuit of a physique that you're going to be happy with, of happiness, of looking on the scale or looking in the mirror and seeing, let's say, a centimeter or an inch has come off and having a moment of feeling good about it. Because what's that going to do? It's going to spur you forward and onwards. It's going to be the light tap on the back to yourself, the internal tap on the back that we all need to continue to work towards the things that we want and care about the most. But it's important to have those because otherwise you are the donkey with the stick and the carrot and you're walking after it and you can only walk for so long before you get too tired to go any further and you collapse and guess what? You still didn't get the carrot. Okay, we can't always use the stick. Sometimes we do need to dangle things in front of us that we want, but there needs to be a level of attainability. Otherwise, we are going to burn ourselves out and we're going to live our entire lives in misery whilst in the pursuit of happiness. Work towards career goals, work towards earning more money, work towards having the body of your dreams, of finding the partner of your dreams, of having great memories and times with your children. But don't forget to cherish the moments that are happening right here, right now, today, because they will be gone tomorrow. They will be nothing but a fleeting memory. And you don't want to look back on all these memories and have No memories of them because you were so busy looking forward for what you were hoping to get to that never arrived. So be careful of your desires. Do not establish contracts with yourself to be miserable until they are reached if they are never reachable. And as always, take care of yourself.